so today I saw Black Panther. Now I was really excited for Black Panther because I was interested in more of T'Challa's story following Civil War. Now this is also a good thing but also a bad thing because we already know this character there was already this build up of who he was and why we're excited to see and kind of like why he's becoming king in this film and we have that emotional connection to him already but it's also a bad thing following Civil War because every film after Civil War has ignored the Accords. Now Tenchilla was for the Accords but in this film he invades countries which goes against it so it's kind of to the point where are we acknowledging Civil War happened and did the Accords still exist or are we pretending that part doesn't exist? Because if we're pretending that part doesn't exist, that's fine because Civil War wasn't that great of a film and it didn't really change anything. But at the same time, if we're pretending that film didn't happen, why did they make it? So I'm interested to know what happened to the Accords because Tinchella just completely ignores them even though him and his father was for them. And though he loves his father and is so devoted to his father, he goes against a lot of the things his father stands for in this film. Now, Tinchilla is a great guy. He's a great king. He's powerful as the Black Panther. But so many of the things he goes through in this film are very contradictory to the person he's supposed to be. So he comes across as this good guy who wants to protect his people and protect his place. But then a bad person comes along who wants to help the rest of the community by spreading out their resources and he's bad for wanting to take resources away from the people and give it to everyone else. And then Tenchella defeats the bad guy which we knew was going to happen so that's not really a spoiler because he's obviously in Infinity War so nothing was going to happen to him and also the good guy always wins and then he suddenly has the same idea. But now, he's a good guy for it. So there's a lot of contradictory parts going through this story. It doesn't take away from the fact that it's a good story and it's well told. But a lot of the things don't make sense for this character. And that is probably the thing I'm taking away from this film the most. The, the character is contradictory. The character doesn't make sense following Civil War and leading into Infinity War. Because he rapidly changes so many times. And it's just... What is going on in his mind to be so devoted to his father but go against everything his father wants and then to go for the Accords but then ignore the Accords in the following film? Which I know everyone else is ignoring the Accords so I guess no one really cares about them anymore. But if it is part of the Marvel canon, it's part of the universe, why are they choosing to ignore it? The performance by Chadwick is fantastic. He is great as Tinchilla. The performances in this movie is fantastic by everyone. I could list every single person, but that would be timely. And I'm just going to say they are brilliant. The charisma and chemistry between everyone is brilliant. They are very sassy characters, and I cannot wait for them to be part of Infinity War because I want some of them to interact with Tony so bad because I just feel like he's going to have chemistry with everyone and their sassiness... Um, another thing that I find annoying about this film is we know it's coming from Civil War, we know it's going to Infinity War, but they ignore most of everyone from the Avengers. Now, maybe this was for them to save money, maybe they just couldn't be bothered adding to the storyline as the film already goes for 2 hours and 15 minutes, but I just feel like they could have done so much more leading from Civil War to Infinity War, and they just missed so many opportunities while also creating a low plot holes. So, while I really did enjoy this film, Black Panther is a great film. It has a great storyline. The performances are incredible. While it does drag on a little bit and then suddenly has an abrupt ending, which I'm not sure exactly how a film manages that, but it does. So there is a few issues, but for the most part, it is a great Marvel film. It's not the best Marvel film, but it's definitely not the worst. Seeing it as a standalone film, it's enjoyable. A lot of people will like it, and so they should. It is good. But comparing it to other Marvel films, having it in the Marvel Universe, there are so many plot holes, there are so many loose ends, and I just feel like they're making themselves a bigger hole, and they really could fix it so much more, and they could have done a better job with a lot of the plot holes. 
they could have answered way more questions but I just feel like they want to do their own little thing their own little world which is fair enough as most standalone films do that but I just feel like they've created some more holes for themselves that they're never going to fix so if you're kind of watching it in sequence with other Marvel films for a person who loves Marvel and for an audience member who kind of wants to marathon the films I guess it's going to create some issues especially leading into Infinity War if they're soon going to finish the universe off I just feel like there's a lot of plot holes but as a standalone film it is enjoyable I do recommend it a lot of the attention it was getting leading up to this film saying it's a black culture movie I don't think is accurate well it's an African film and there's a lot of culture surrounding that it is not an African American film and they kind of get kind of muddled up and confused as the storyline progresses and a lot of the comments they make are obviously to appease the audience but it doesn't make sense for the storyline purposes with one of the characters which is Eric he makes a comment about slavery and that's from his ancestry but considering his ancestry he actually wouldn't be part of a slave his ancestors wouldn't have been slave because he is not really part of that ancestry unless we're speaking about his other parent which was never acknowledged throughout the film we don't know where they are we don't know if they're dead we don't know if they just disappeared we don't know exactly what so maybe he does actually know that part of his ancestry he only knows that one part that he's following in this film and that's the only ancestry he knows about then the slavery comment definitely doesn't fit into this film and you may have an issue with that and fair enough feel free to send me a message and I'm happy to chat with you I would like to go into more details about that but I don't want to say spoilers but I just feel like this film tried to be something that it wasn't instead of being all the things that it could have been and again it is a great film but there is a lot of loose ends there's a lot of plot holes and instead of closing up and being everything that it could be it tried to be more and it just fell flat in a few different areas rather than just falling flat in the one so that's my opinion um I did like the film I know my comment then may have not seemed like I did but I enjoyed the film it's not my favorite Marvel film but it's definitely not my least favorite I feel like that's always going to be Civil War um but yeah please let me know what you think about it I might do a second film and extend upon some of my points later on when more people have had a chance to see it as I only came out today so obviously I don't want to give too many spoilers but I'm pretty excited to actually more people to see it and have a conversation with them about it because I saw it with one of my best friends today and we had a lot of questions and kind of quizzed each other on it and yeah I'm curious of what the Marvel Universe is going to take this film into Infinity War or if they're going to answer questions through interviews later on or kind of release statements about it like I'm interested in how they're going to respond to a few of things also one more thing he's Black Panther but there is no live Panthers in the film why I feel like there should be there is giant rhinos that they don't really explain but there's no Panthers and that also annoyed me there should be at least one live Panther so <laughs> Um, yeah, so I did like the film, but I just feel like it either should have been included more with the Avengers and more of the other Marvel films, or should have just ignored the rest and came first. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, but definitely comment if you're seeing the film, if you agree with any of my points, if you disagree with my points. I really like talking about <laughs> movies with people, so definitely comment. Bye!